Alright, what is up guys? Fraser Wilson here. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Today we're going to be whipping up some sweet potato chips. So this recipe is going to be absolutely perfect because it's not only going to be delicious, but it's also going to tick the box of that healthiness. As we all know, chips guys, they're typically the unhealthy option when you go out, you know, you get a burger, some chips. But for this guys, you can have that indulgence, but without the guilt. It's going to be fantastic. So all we're going to need guys is a couple of things to get you started. Firstly, you're going to need a pan and an oven. Those two things, hopefully you have those. If you don't, something's, something's not quite right. But anyway, guys, now we're going to get onto the ingredients. We're only going to need a couple to make these actually taste fantastic. So the first thing we're going to need, guys, is obviously a sweet potato. So you're going to get one that is pretty consistent all the way through. I almost dropped it. Pretty consistent all the way through. And the reason you are going to want to do that is because we want the chips that we're going to chop up to actually be a consistent size. So they cook evenly on the pan and in the oven. It's perfect that way. So up next, guys, we're going to have the things that are going to make the chips actually crispy because there's nothing worse than a soggy chip. And you could say that the goal of this kind of healthy recipe is to make the chips as crispy as possible while keeping it still healthy. So the way we're going to achieve that is by using coconut oil because it has a higher boiling point, which means essentially it's going to fry better and make the chips taste a little bit crispier. Now up next we have the seasonings and that is going to be kicked off with mixed herbs followed by a very, very nice garlic salt, which is absolutely delicious. And we're gonna actually pair that with a bit of pink salt. So we're gonna use this afterwards when the chips are actually cooked. And we're gonna use this before we actually start the cooking. So there's not many ingredients that you actually need. It's more about the cooking method that we're about to go through that makes the chips actually fantastic. So that's what we're gonna get into right now, guys. Buckle up for this one. This is gonna be pretty damn sweet. Alright guys, so the good thing about this recipe is it goes straight to your muscles. Now, it's also about 110% guaranteed that it's going to increase your level of tan by about 2.8%. It's freaking fantastic guys, so if you're in winter, it's a no-brainer. Now that we've got that done and sorted, it's actually time to cook the things. So what we're going to be doing for the method is going to be cooking it on the pan first and foremost. So we're going to want to put that on high. And while it's actually cooking, what you want to be doing is actually moving it all around so it cooks evenly. And then while that is going on, guys, what we're going to do is actually preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius, which is 440 degrees Fahrenheit. And then what we're going to do is put it in there for a further five to 10 minutes. And that's going to crispen it up super duper good. All right guys, so two pro tips coming at you right now. So once you've actually finished cooking, wash your pan immediately because it's gonna be a lot easier to actually clean if it's still uh, hot, okay? Now pro tip number two is make sure you don't grab the handle like an idiot because it's gonna be very, very hot coming out of the oven. So please use some mitts. Ooh. And that is, that guys, absolutely fantastic. So it's very, very quick, very, very easy to whip up. Um, just as a little bit of a recap guys for the seasonings, just garlic salt, uh, mixed herbs, and then also some pink salt with some coconut oil. Now for the pink salt we're gonna actually put it on there and that's gonna add a lot of taste and a lot of uh, deliciousness. Now guys chips are not complete without sauce and I understand that sauces while they're not that healthy in general you can find some good alternatives. Now the one alternative that I strongly recommend if you do like hot stuff so chili is gonna be sriracha okay and the reason is it has a very very little amount of calories pretty much none. Now you could also opt for you know a tomato sauce ketchup as you guys call it in the states just try and go for a sugar-free alternative because that is just going to to mean it's going to be a healthier meal. Now, also guys, what could you possibly have with this chips? As this is just carbohydrates, guys. So we need some protein and we need something else to go with it to make it into an actual meal. And that is going to be chicken breast and some asparagus. Whoa, you probably thought I was going to do a cool transition, but I 
completely decided to go the other way. Anyway, so that is sweet potato, chicken breast, and some asparagus. Now, for this chicken breast recipe, guys, because it is absolutely delicious, if you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out right now. It's on my channel. It's freaking easy, quick to watch, and I guarantee you, you will enjoy it just as much as you will enjoy the sweet potato chip. So with that, guys, that is going to be the wrap-up of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like because it does help me out a lot, and it, let me, it lets me know that you actually like the video. So that is very, very important. If you do like the video, like it, comment down below, let me know. And subscribe if you're new here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later!